Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saiken and we're playing hard mode uh, difficulty. Our rigor Sparklight <coughs> has recently gotten a bit more cyberware. We are still successfully running uh, the Shadows of Hong Kong and our next target is to even get more cyberware. Yep, you heard it. Um, we want to replace both of our legs and we want to make sure um, that we do have uh, an improvement for our arms. So a lot of uh, dexterity and defense value in what we're buying next. Uh, we need to spend some more, time, uh, some more um, points in quickness and uh, in, do uh, in dodge value because that's really the def uh, defense value of uh, this game. And in order to do that, we need money and a lot of karma. Uh, so let's travel to the Shangri-La. Um, uh, let's tra travel to Shangri-La. I like to take the same group that we had beforehand. <clears throat> to be honest, I'm starting to fall in love with Gaishu um, as a replacement for Duncan. Uh, we definitely need Gobbet and Isobel. Both of them bring a lot of utility to the table. And yeah, we're still playing the same uh, the same rigor as before. So let's go to the Shangri-La restaurant and we are up for a spicy treat here, guys. <laughs> Good, here we are. Our mission today <coughs> is to locate a gangster called Rooster, who's known to have quite a temper. He's an orc and we gotta take him alive. So no messing up on this one. But with a tiny bit of manipulation, we might even get him out of uh, this restaurant. The Shangri-La is a city-wide renowned restaurant with a lot of um, security. So we can't just run in guns blazing. <coughs> Let's give it a try. The troll security guard. Basically explains to us that we should not try any funny business and that most of the dining guests are upstairs. Waitress cannot give us any reasonable information. So let's move into the kitchen and talk to the chef. <clears throat> the chef will know that uh, the gentleman is indeed in this area, in the locked area. But with our abysmal charisma of one, it's not really working well. So one of uh, the service notice should be um, that uh, he has an allergy, an allergy to shrimp and other seafood. And we're going to use exactly that allergy. So next topic is Henry here, lost his contracts because the guy down, uh, down here stole it from him and apparently Henry is, uh, uh, is a bit depressive whilst David um, is celebrating his success. Can we get both sides to fight, is the question. Oh wait, we could maybe. Yep, 
both of them uh, create a nice little diversion in front of the restaurant. Now what we need is even more diversion. Can we get um, the chef to uh, to deliver him some trims. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, without Nguyen, it's not possible to uh, to convince him. Last time I had a higher charisma, so it was way easier to get that going. But with the lack of social skills, these options are not available. So let's see how it plays out alternatively. And whilst all of them are away, solving their drama, we might be able to slip in and actually get the guy. Good. After threatening him just a tiny bit, we'll take his key and we're going to take uh, the back door exit, service entrance. Now, that is almost too smooth, right? And if you think that, uh, this is definitely and exactly what's happening. Because there is quite a bit of trouble stirring up and we are running right into it. So let's jump to the scene. He is basically helping, he's basically asking for help uh, uh, by, uh, from his other triads, uh, also gangsters, but they don't really give a damn about him. He seems to be a very likable person, or not so likable person. Yeah, which is why they simply ignore him. We move into cover. This time we do have our reflex um, reflex trigger. Where is our extra AP? Well, it's great that um, that wild reflexes help me to uh, to dodge attacks. I mean, that's pretty good, but I want the extra AP. That is what I'm interested in. Putting the drone in a position where it can start sniping. Unfortunately missing. Moving into cover. Kaishu gets an accuracy buff.
and he's running in. Nice, that helped a lot. Isabel runs into cover. And that'll be almost a kill. See? That's the cyber arm I was talking about. They threw a grenade, we throw it right back. And that's going to happen quite a bit, by the way. The Doberman takes a few shots, kills uh, the enemy. Uh, let's continue and hit them. Our drone should have an easy time killing this guy. He's flanked. Holy shit, 28. It's getting better and better. Well, that's a lot of damage. Good. Isabel uh, takes care of the keypad. And as always, when uh, things are at, uh, when stakes are high, <coughs> the uh, the enemies are even coming in with more reinforcements. So we got the whole tri uh, triads um, rushing in and essentially wanting to kill the guy. We of course don't want to do it. We lost one character um, whilst hacking the keypad. So let's go into control mode for our drones. We could fly our sniper drone over here. And whom are we flanking? Very nice, that enforcer. Moving the Doberman over here. Isabel. Isabel is using the time to actually summon uh, an elemental because this is going to be a hard fight. And I like to give ourselves a bit more armor. So we have active defense going. Probably take a defensive stance. and moving into cover. Finally, what are we going to do with her last action? I think we're going to cast aim on Sparklight. He will have an action soon. And we just gotta lay low for now. That is very unfortunate. Minus three AP means Skyshu is completely um, out of action points and will take a lot of heat now. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, let's move.
Isabel moves over here. We can summon another spirit soon. But where do we position ourselves is the question. All of them are in solid cover. Can't move in too close. We're definitely hitting uh, the enforcer here, but we need to get him out of the way first. One thing that we can uh, or could do is take him with our bare hands. However, apparently that skill seems to be blocked. Okay, so we only got our drone, <coughs> our sniper drone left. This is not the perfect position, but at least this did gave us free reign. Good, we got an, uh, a nice 4 extra AP. We pacified one of them, essentially making it ignore all of the other targets for now. And thankfully, thankfully we could hit all of uh, them so that they lost their AP. That is actually not bad. Good. Sparklight. Oh no, that's not Sparklight. Never mind. Our shaman has lost some um, action points. So we gotta heal ourselves. Again, confirming the ghost, who's, uh, which is probably the uh, entity that helps us the most at the moment. Stealing action points from the enemy, left and right. There we go. So, can we coup de grace someone? Can only attack stunned targets. Well, we can certainly start hitting a few of them. Let's start with the Doberman. All of them are just standing around and we're still not hitting them. Oh my gosh. <coughs> That's bad. Taking some more range so that we do have better odds in hitting. Whatever it is, it seems that we can't hit them. We're still being flanked, we gotta change the position. All right, that worked pretty well. Good, 
So now that we do have enough um, action points, let's start picking up the enemies one by one. One down. Almost two down. Gosh, we can't even hit with 80% uh, chances. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We are using our target person to to heal our shaman goblet. And who could benefit from stripping their armor? I think this one here would be nice. Arm, uh, strip armor is such an incredibly good spell. It just means that all of your attacks deal more damage. Unfortunately, they seem to be pretty hard to hit. Now, Gaichu is taking a lot of damage, unfortunately. But we have Isobel ready, so that works out in our favor. Kaisho can heal himself. And move into a cover position. That's good. Very nice. Medium cover, light cover. I think we should try that still. Unfortunately, need to reload. Sparklight moves in, and we got a nice little flanking shot here. There we go. Spirit control is such a nice ability if if you have a high high value. We now have two spirits. That float around. And boy oh boy, that guy is screwed. Good, our target can already flee the scene. <clears throat> That's good. And time for us to mop up. Oh, come on. Yeah, with cover, it's difficult to reach this guy. But we will eventually get him, even with low odds. He's currently not hitting anyone. So let's upgrade our two hit chance. That's one.
Daisho begins to move in. Unfortunately, you can't buff the drones. But what we can do is we can mark him. That missed as well. It's not our day. All right, almost there. We're moving away from the flanked position. Ooh, you can buff drones. Oh my gosh. That changes everything. Should have buffed our sniper drone a long time ago. Yeah, he's trying to hide there, but that's not going to help him anymore. There we go. Perfect. Now, with our buffed sniper drone, and him being out of, uh, out of cover, we have a 60% chance to kill him. Great. Okay, so that was um, actually a more difficult fight. It's an optional one. You could just escape and and leave it like that. But I felt uh, we have a, had a strong position. So of course the uh, the weasel low um, is trying to kind of weasel his way out of here. He is going to con try to convince us that things aren't that bad and that we should let him go. All right, we're off to our drop-off. And look at that, we got six karma for the run for an overall amount of 8 karma. True to what we wanted to do originally, we're going to invest it in quickness. And dodge, because uh, that's the stat that we're going to, to scale next. And we probably need to claim uh, the payment for our last run. I'm also thinking like after we increased uh, quickness to five, uh, we might want to go for drone um, increases. Because I don't know how how much karma is left over and seven uh, intelligence seven uh, drone handling plus seven drones uh, that's that's 21 karma um, alone to get it to, to seven and 18 karma to get it to six so yeah that's a lot of karma needed taking our um, Taking our payment for the data of uh, the previous run, this time we did not get any data. And do we have any new messages? Yes. And there is another run, perfect. Great. So we're doing well for, for ourselves. 2700 is not enough uh, for a major cyberware uh, upgrade.
Uh, oh yeah, well, uh, that one is that would be already the next uh, mission. So, well, that would be one of the possible next missions. I think we're going to cut it here. We still got a few uh, shadow runs ahead of us. So either steal the data and the tissue samples uh, from Nalchi or uh, go to the Aris, uh, Aris factory and get some data there. That's an interesting, a pretty interesting run as well. Um, I'm not sure which one we're going to do next, but both of them are uh, good. I'll keep the video uh, short, half an hour in, we are done with the run and we're going to head to the next one relatively soon. Thank you for watching, as always, I appreciate your viewership and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.